in this module we will talk about how do we design an effective web based database application and as i have mentioned that we use a tiered approach and in the subsequent modules i will also talk more about that tiered approach okay and that tiered approach which is the most important part of that tiered approach that is the server side logic and as a application designer you divide your application into tiers right so as to ensure performance to ensure security and to ensure other requirements as we will be discussing in this module and in the subsequent module so we will discuss the guidelines about 11 guidelines which are there and before we discuss those guidelines let me briefly go over certain points which should be considered while designing a web based database applications so let's go over those points so this is a tiered is a layered approach okay and this is the most critical part over here this is the part which we will be looking at okay this is the client this is your browser over here this we will uh, discuss in the in more detail in subsequent modules so we are not going to leave anything things will be covered so we will be having a top down approach going to more detail so what are the design considerations partitioning the application logically what what is happening in a certain part of the application that should be partitioned from the other parts so that when you are working on that part it should not affect the working on the other parts they work together but it should not be influencing it abstraction for loose coupling don't be very precise okay lose the uh, divide it use abstraction and there should be communication between the components across those boundaries for that purpose you can use the standard or follow the standard methodologies so as to have something which is easy to understand and which is easy to code also reduce the round trips this is basically about performance this is about performance it is that you fetch something from the web server for for the client and then you go again fetch it and you go again fetch it reduce those round trips because that server could be at the other end of the planet in view of the distri uh, distributed database uh, nature so reduce those round trips and when you prevent that fetching again and again fetch whatever is required which you know is going to fetch in in in, in one go because uh, that reducing the round trip will give you better performance i hope you get the picture we'll go into more details caching what is needed time and again that should be placed in the cache right it is there in the cache it is it could be prefetched in the cache and the point is that instead of looking at the main server in the main database you first check the cache and when what you need is in the cache it gives you good performance logging and instrumentation across the boundaries of those different modules or those layers whatever activity is taking place that should be recorded in a log the benefit of recording that in a log is that you can perform a log analysis of the activities which are stored in the log that will help you find and establish suspicious activity if the security of the system has been compromised that will help you look at those issues and identify them and maybe identify them before something serious happens avoid blocking long running tasks okay that is that is important and for this you can use uh, uh, avoid blocking long running tasks because if you uh, if you do it this is all for the performance there should be an asynchronous mechanism right because those tasks should not bring down the performance of the entire system authentication at trust boundaries whatever is happening across the boundaries only the people or the accounts or the services which are 
ऑथराइज टू डू परफॉर्म सर्टन एक्टिविटीज दे शुड बी डूइंग इट नो सेंसिटिव डेटा इन प्लेन टेक्स सेंसिटिव डेटा मस्ट बी इनक्रिप्टेड शुड नॉट बी सेंडिंग इट ओवर विदाउट एनी इनक्रिप्शन यूजिंग द लीज प्रिवलेज अकाउंट वट एवर एक्शन आर बींग परफॉर्म यूज दैट अकाउंट विच हैज़ लिमिटेड प्रिवलेज बिकॉज इफ दैट अकाउंट इज हैक्ट then by virtue of having extensive privileges a hacker will create problems for you so have limited privileges that account is being used so what are the design guidelines there are about 11 design guidelines authentication authorization you can read them i will go into more uh, details people processes authorized to do they are authorized exception management this this we have covered now i will go to the validation validation should be done means that if somebody is entering a command a typing a text check that is malicious code is entered in a text window which will run on your server right or if uh, somebody is entering text where a numeric value was required these are all performance issues because if numeric is entered at the text instead of having it validated at the server end which will take a lot of time validate it at the client in your browser and of course now i'll go into more detail authentication identify the trust boundaries where you want to check the boundary is being crossed platform supported authentication better use windows based authentication don't make your own authentication use platform features for forms use the standard features which are robust which are strong which will secure a system enforce account management uh, do not let the accounts to be hanging around okay the people should not uh, they should be kind of a self log out enforce strong password policies password should be upper case combination numeric lower case and so on and of course authorization identify the trust boundaries use url authorization based upon it so that the people should not be changing the things and getting the rights which you don't allow them to right granularity of authorization if you go into lot of details nitty gritty details you will have a secure system but it will compromise the performance and if you are not into very high level of uh, details of security you will have good response but the security can be compromised and use impersonation and delegation so all of those things will ensure that your web based database application is secure more points in the next module